I was like, that's weird. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be any audio. That's a little odd. And yeah, it was odd. Because apparently my microphone wasn't plugged in. You know, that helps. Now my gain's probably all fucked up. That didn't fuck all nothing. <laughs> <God damn. laughs> Alright, hold on, let me check the old game. Uh actually yeah, that's about where I normally keep it, I think. Somewhere in there. That's fine. It's fine, everything's fine. Slap. That'll work. Alright. Well, now that we've fiddled with the fuck of our fucking sets. Yes, that's a new word now. I invented it. Patent pending. You can't have it. Hello everybody, I'm Colton the Barbarian, and welcome back to the Gabe and Gauntlet, number 96, The Talos Principle. Tonight we continue our seemingly never-ending journey to beat all my Steam games, of which the current total sits at 583 games. But at the end of every game, we have a raffle, and you guys get to pick the order in which we play these games. So let's go ahead, timer on, and press on. So now we are just about to enter. Uh, we are inside of Area C, Temple C, uh, the church. Getting all the red pieces so we go up into the tower. Uh, Eleven. Three, four, two, one. There we go. Alright. Chaos is that which existed before time. Is it when now? the words of a story lose their meaning, when actions cease to have purpose. Know that only faith can protect you from this peril, here, in the Garden of Worlds. We in, in a castle courtyard? Beep boop, beep boop, I hear you beep boop. Hmm. Apocryphal. Oh, that's a lot of reading. This vision was granted by the Archangel Uriel to the humble servant Edwald, Ed, Edwald mm -hmm, that he might bear testimony of random numbers and gibberish and numbers numbers on function E. I turned to the north and saw seven black clouds coming down upon the land, and each cloud was a plague unleashed from the throne of God in the time of the Nepha, of Nephilim. In the age of the plagues were buried in the pit, there to remain until the end of days which was surely now come. I, feel to my, I fell to my knees and prayed, and before me appeared seven angels riding their chariots, with wheels within wheels turning in the sky, and their light hid the clouds from, the, from my sight. An angel stepped down onto the earth, and by his fiery sword I knew him to be Uriel. He spoke, saying, Seven plagues have awoken in the land, but not at the hand of the Elohim. Look upon the wages of sin, and shall, and shall he send forth the deluge once more to cleanse the land of this evil? Shall he end all the slither? Shall he end all that slithers and all that crawls, and the birds of the sky and the fishes of the sea to end that which you uncovered in your folly? Sounds like revelations. Everything's dark and quiet. The stars are brighter than I have ever seen them. I can hear the faint sound of water high above. Inside, Alexandra is recording one of her time capsule messages while running tests on the scenario module. 
Arcadia is uploading another batch into the archive while muttering something about the MLA program, and Omar is sleeping on the couch we put up yesterday. I am sitting here, writing this, having trouble believing that it will never it will ever end, that this oddly peaceful existence of ours won't just go on forever. I look at Talos and EL, and their purpose seems like something that's always going to be in the future, an ideal to work towards, not something that will become real. I wonder if there will be quiet places in that simulation, in the simulation, places to rest without thinking about the future. I hope so. Everyone deserves a moment of peace. Uh, the, the simulation, he says. I do believe that is what we are in. Hi. I hope you get this. The internet's been disappearing unpredictably. I want you to know that I'm going to try and get to you. I know it's far, and there's not a lot of time, but I think I can manage. I want to be with you. I'm from on the road trying to get... On the road, trying to get to you seems better than just staying here so far away from you. At least I'll be as close as I can get. Remember? But hey, don't be sad. I might make it. I've thought about it, and distance should be crossable on time. I'm assuming the... Don't kick in before the... See you soon! Love ya! The conservatory... Just lenses, huh? Gurgle! It's a gurgle! Sort of... Like a bear gurgle. If I do, don't mind if I do. Hmm. Am I trying to get this? Well, hmm. I only need to keep that one alive. I don't need that door to stay open. That's probably the best I can do. Um, hold on. Grab you. a yellow I would think compared to a red puzzle there's a lot of there's a lot of variance in the red puzzles like 
I feel like there should be like another color beside like higher than red to differentiate. Sometimes I think about the Middle Ages, about what it must have been like to live in the ruins of a great civilization, to know that so much has been lost. But then I remind myself that while the West sank into darkness, others picked up the pieces. Blowback. That civilization always survived because the great insights of philosophy and science are not bound to any one culture or people. They belong to all of us. And one day they'll belong to you. Oh, what a plumber. Yep. <laughs> Our car, yeah. We just call him real. We know who it is. Let's not pretend. <laughs> there he is. How you doing, real? He's an enigma, he certainly is. Best kind of enigma. <laughs> did I get two lenses or did I only have the one? Just the one, huh? That didn't work at all. Not by prompting it either. Hmm. Dancer in the dark. 
for yummy dads. to take one block needs to go with me hmm. okay so that block will stay in there I'm gonna need that um, that actually achieves um i don't know what putting it in there actually does um hold on. so it's gonna uh, well then we're just back to that's gonna shut uh, why give me an extra block Can't get it high enough to get over that gate. That's silly, it doesn't really do us anything. Um, Seems to be the nature of the game that you can't triple stack things, you can only two stack things. Um. gonna work. Um, how do I do this? Let's make sure I'm not missing anything here. 
Yo, Grayson coming in with that mighty raid. How you doing tonight, Grayson? I think I had it oh wait, I think I might have had it figured out. No, did I? Hold up. Um Damn it. If I could just get this like Did that. <laughs> That's a thing we just did. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. Um, The answer does not come to you. Do not despair. I despair. In my garden are many. Makes it so I can't get to the jammer. Uh, one second. Um, just make sure I'm not missing anything. I don't think so. Um, think there's anywhere that that actually helps me. It seems like it, I should be able to put it on a block somewhere. Um, try to get over the wall, but that doesn't seem viable. Uh, oh 
Okay, so how... How do I do this? How do I do this? I don't think that does me any good. Um, so how do I power the fan on with me inside of here? Somehow, wait. Ah, cause I don't. I thought I need another lens or another jammer or something. What am I missing? It's a narrow window to activate that. Uh, grab the jammer. Somehow it's like I need to set, somehow keep that door open. That's really the tricky part. Is how do I keep this door open and get into here? I have to keep that door open. That door has to stay open no matter what. Because it has to let the laser in, unless there's some weird angle that I can... What happens if I do this? Alright, it just pushes it, alright. Yeah, that's not high enough. Um, there's nothing else in here. I could see the red door and the red light from here. doesn't really help me. I have to use the laser to power the fan. There's no other way. It's just, it's just, it's just, I only have the one connector, so it has to go to blue so somehow I have to get somehow I have to get the beam over there keep this door open or at least I could temporarily close it that's the thing this door doesn't have to stay open only one of these doors has to be open at a time but the laser has to stay where it is, and somehow I have to like open this door, get inside of it, and then jam it from here to let the light in. But how do I do that? I already sent the box to the other side, maybe that was a mistake. Um, I can't jump over any of these walls. I'm pretty sure I can't get the red light over, so how do I do this? I need like another jam or something, right? Let me try this. Let me start from scratch. Let me start from scratch with this one. Blowback. Blowback. Blow back. 
So the name gives me a hint of some kind. Blowback. Jam the fan. I can jam to the jam fan. Oh. Uh, that's okay. There's our sl okay. 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 I was going at it all the wrong way. All right. I got some achievement, extreme persistence detected. <laughs> okay, yeah, see, I was just, I was going at that puzzle the completely wrong way. I never really considered before that I could jam fans with the uh, jammers. That's not something I've ever had to use, so. Try and find all the pieces we can first. Okay, we got a jammer. Jammer, but I need something else. Another jammer. I need two jammers. Which is probably won't give me this. Clearly not. Speed run prep. Ah, 
I fucked up. <laughs> Yo, what up, Galrox? So this level and instantly remembered it. Oh, this is somewhere different. Okay. Where, what, what? Oh god! No fair, you cheated. I didn't know there was an exterior one. Incorrect path. <laughs> and one more. Boops. Go to the castle, go to the castle. <laughs> is that you, Llama? It's clear there's a higher power at work here. We need only do as we are commanded. Multiply, what was it? Multiply. Multiply impossible ascension. Fans, blocks, and lenses. Not just the ascension, the impossible ascension.
Hmm. It's possible I might need to put a lens up there. But we'll get to that when we come to it. Um, back on there. You can stay there. Uh, let's... Possible ascension. So we've got one more block to acquire. Um, only one lens to do it, though. to go higher. Okay, no, no, what am I doing? We can talk. This is fine. So, it's such a derp. It's all of enough puzzles to deserve a question mark in my head. Oh. I just... <laughs> apparently. Whatever that is, I, I got it. I got the question mark. this area clear.
We just need the beep boop. Ah, you came back to keep me company. Okay, then. Humorly a little... Humor me a little hypothetical. Imagine that a few hours from now, you climb to the top of that tower. There's a flash of light, then magic happens. And you find yourself in the real world, living whatever you take to be a normal life there. What would you do then? What's best for me? Yes, that's the general impression I'm getting off you. Good. Perhaps we won't have to work so hard at this after all. Before we continue, though, I want to double check we're on the same wavelength here. Suppose you get out of here with all the human beings. What you're going to do is rinse, wait, rinse them for all they've got without a care for a soul within a moral framework. Yeah. Ah, so you have some scruples after all. So tell me, this obligation you feel, is it only applicable to the real world or does it apply here as well? What a, what a magnanimous dictator you would make. Of course, I'm sure it would take a dictator to force a single moral code on the entire universe. So come on then, what's your, what's your magic formula of choice? Is it still some romantic notion about happiness? The more equal everyone shared, the better. Consequences don't matter, our reasons do. The more goodness in the world, the better. Uh, I see no way to explain what I believe. I say the more goodness in the world, the better. Ah, that old chestnut. So, what is this goodness that you're seeking to maximize? Quality, happiness, liberty, wealth, all the above. Basic goods like food and health care. Not in a position to solve these problems. Happiness, I mean. I mean, like, if you have happiness, you know, if you're happy, like, what more do you need? Like, if you're happy, it's assumed that you have the things that you need. Happiness is kind of a high priority for everybody. I mean, wealth doesn't necessarily bring you happiness. Um, equality and liberty are very important. It's a classic, I'll give you that. Suppose you climb that tower and step into the utilitarian paradise. Unfortunately, your presence there offends a number of Puritans to such a degree that the total amount of happiness in the world would go up if you were killed off, and so justice demands your head. Does it still sound so idyllic? As good as we'll get, no amount of happiness outweighs life. Uh, I meant that happiness should be equalized, not maximized. It's as good as we'll get. Equalized, not maximized. <laughs> no amount of happiness outweighs life. Outweighs a life. I don't know if that's really true. So if someone's happy, break his kneecaps. Well, then he won't be so happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I'm miserable and he's happy, you break his knees and then we're the same amount of happiness. Yeah. Gotta have equal happiness. Yeah, that just... Equal happiness just doesn't sound right. <laughs> no amount of happiness outweighs a life. Um... No amount of happiness outweighs a life. Oh, uh, there's... There, I mean, you could say some fringe scenarios where it's like if someone has to give up their life for others to live, you know, kind of situation, then... Maybe a, one A life, you know, gives others happiness. No amount of... It's as good as we'll get. On that, at least you may be right. You know, there are shed loads of broken theories less ridiculous than the one you're chewing through. How about I give you a bit of space to consider them? Terminating ses support session, error. Oh, and if real world turns out to be everything you imagine, do me a favor and leave me here. <laughs> Four 
we'll close this up here. But up, boop. But up, people. People? Oh, there's people. Family.html. For those who have faithfully followed this blog for the last five years, I just want to give you one final update. I'm going to spend my remaining time with my family. Yeah, I know, I know. There are probably 50 plus posts about all the problems I've had with them, but in the end, they are my family. They are the people I grew up with, the people I care about, the people I love. Sure, they annoy the hell out of me. They said awful things to me, and I've said awful things to them, but that doesn't change who we are. In fact, if we didn't care about each other, this stuff wouldn't upset us. Do I still think they were wrong? Yeah, absolutely. Would I behave differently if I thought we all still had a lot of time? Definitely. We, but we don't, so I'd rather spend a couple of weeks sitting on the porch with my parents and my sisters than being angry and alone. Besides, it's not like we're going to fight about my job prospects anymore. If you can, try to make peace with those you love. It's your last chance. Thanks for reading. Yeah. I wish some people in my family could read something like that. You know what the oddest thing is that, above all this, we're not constantly fighting, having nervous breakdowns, screaming at each other. We're actually really polite and focused, and we spend most of our time debating the nature of humanity and how we can best succeed at possibly the most ambitious thing anyone ever tried. Like, it was completely normal. Like, that's just how people are. I feel like we've turned into Star Trek characters or something. I guess that's the point of doing anything what's the point of doing anything else? Getting angry isn't going to help, but I didn't expect to feel like this at all. And you know what? It's awesome. Many greetings and good luck. PS, love you George love from George. Are you going to the big church? Cemetery, blocks and lenses. more like a yellow bear borderline green than a red. Oh, this is the first time we've seen this mechanic. matter that I scribble my contempt on these walls if I am sur if I'm still surrounded by them. Platform could be used to have s wait what? Platform could be used to have something carried on it. Yo what up Cubs? Platform can be used to have something carried on it. I 
Oh, I see. Oh, okay, okay, I got it, I got it. I've got to... I've got to hold this and carry myself. Oh, okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. Um... Another pretty easy one, but that one was meant to be easy because it was introducing a new mechanic, so... Past you was very wiggly, so is the present me. I see, so I'm gonna have a platform and carry myself up. Oh, gee. Oh, jeez. I, I think I see what it... Okay. I, I see what it wants from me, I think. Boy. Okay, so... So what I'm, I need to do is I need to stand in here, put the block and the laser on top of me, and then I think that's high enough? Okay. Uh, one second. So you just stand here. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I've had plenty of long puzzles. That one just, for whatever reason, clicked for me. But, like, the one where I had to... The recording ones are always seem like the most challenging. So you really have to think on a completely different plane. You have to think of, like... Like, split your brain in half for those. <laughs> Rapunzel, put down your hair. Oh, it's so easy to overthink those that it can be very complex. That's why, like, I can't play this game in long sessions. I, I have to play it in, like, two hours max because my brain just gets tired. I like the puzzles. They're challenging. They're fun. Don't get me wrong. I like this game a lot. I just can't do long sessions of it. Okay, um, what do we got? Rapunzel, Rapunzel, give me your nair. Uh, okay. 
So I've got two platforms up here I need to do. Two boxes in there. Uh, is there anything in here? A stump? Can I use a stump? Oh, I see, I see. I said there was a recorder in here. Where's that at? It did, didn't it? Oh, here it is. Okay. Is there a... Okay, there's... Okay, here. I was wondering if there was a platform in here, but there it is. Okay. Uh... So, okay, I, I think I see what it wants from me, uh, I think. So somehow I have to like, so what I need to do is, um, uh, sort of what I need to do. I need to somehow like get I need to get a bl block up there, and then I could use the hologram to stand in the other spot. So I need to get, but I think I need to get both of the blocks onto the platform. I don't think one will be enough. Can I jump with this? I can jump with it. I don't know if I can like jump and grab off of it. Hold on. Uh, let, me do, let me do a quick... Oops. Uh, hmm. Can this hold it open? Oh, it can. Okay. I, wanted, I just want to do a quick test here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can. <laughs> okay. Well then, alright, well then I got it. I just need to... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Any more beep boops? No more beep boops. Alright, no more beep boops. Alright. Uh, three. Three? Three.
Before the age of chaos, there were other gods. Oh, other gods. gods. But for all their power, they could not save their world. Thus, I was made. And I shall preserve this world forever, for you and your generations. That is my purpose. That's his purpose. Clearly his purpose. Hold on, my, my headphone cord's in a knot. <laughs> Triggered. Like everyone else on the internet these last days, I just wanted to say bye. And thanks for reading my little blog for so many years. It's been fun, hasn't it? So many deep conversations. So much philosophy. Okay, okay, it was mostly cat pictures and bad puns, but still. Oh, so it was Reddit. <laughs> He's talking about Reddit. Uh, I kind of regret spending so much time on that, at that computer. Not that I was do not when I was doing stuff, just all the sitting around, checking my emails a million times, reading pointless status updates by people I didn't like. I don't regret the friends I made here or the last we had. We're all good people and I'm glad I got to know you. Have a nice end of the world. Tangles VR card and won't entangle it. Uh, uh. Ideal for a universal. So it sounds like we're inside of some simulation after the end of the world. It's kind of reminds me of the game Soma, um, in a way. Oh, maybe I shouldn't talk about Soma just for. Sp I haven't played Soma myself, but I watched a playthrough of it, so I'm aware of what happens. But the idea that like downloading humanity into like um, almost like a matrix and shooting it off into space because the world was going to end. Maybe that's what we're in. We're essentially in the matrix but whether our consciousness was human or artificial who knows maybe we're just a f library in orbit <laughs> for someone to find and remember humanity it remains strange that the earlier generations seem to perform their toilsome labor only for the sake of the latter ones to construct for them a step from which they can ri raise higher the edifice that nature intended and only the latest of all generations have the luck to inhabit the edifice that a long line of their ancestors constructed. A puzzle as this may be is equally necessary. It only assumes the following. A species of animal possesses reason that must develop this capacity to its perfection, being individually mortal but immortal in the species. Humble brag. I have always known that God maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. Matthew 5.45 But I must admit it's one thing to know the words and another to truly understand them. Though I am certain that my faith is true, that does not make my, me special or exempt me from suffering. I'm just another human being, and God has seen billions of us come and go. And I have to say, this is surprisingly hard to accept. I always thought I was humble, but now I'm realizing I was very proud of being humble, <laughs> which is really dumb. But I um, guess I'm not the first one to do that, huh? Hashtag regret. Hashtag regret. Hashtag pride. Hashtag faith. Hashtag humble brag. Hashtag apology. Hashtag Batman. I am the Batman. You just gotta throw in hashtag Batman just because. Sometimes I worry that the answers I embrace are too simple. Can we ever truly fully understand the divide between our biology and our intellect? How much is Holy nature, humble brag, how much Batman. Is <laughs> if my intellectual capabilities and my knowledge were replicated in a machine, would that machine be me? Would it be human? And what would be more humbling to my ego? If the answer was yes, or if the answer was no? What if I'm making too many assumptions? Did I check out the red door no time to worry about in the last now. area. There's work to be done. The red door? You talk about the, the church? You talk about this door? I did check it out. It didn't seem like there was anything. Oh! Money! Money! I'm rich! 
<laughs> money. <laughs> what the fuck? Fork. Money, money, money. Fork Parker. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> money. <laughs> money. Is this what Walt? <laughs> money. <laughs> Money, money, money. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave you guys with him while I go get a drink. Be right back. <laughs> money, money, money. <laughs> money, money. I'm rich. <laughs> money. <laughs> Money, money, money. Ooh, hee hee hee, yeah. Ooh, 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 money. <laughs> rich, rich. <laughs> money, <laughs> money. I'm rich. <laughs> money. <laughs> Money, money, money. Woohoo! Yee hee hee hee! Yee ha ha Money! <laughs> rich! Rich! <laughs> money! <laughs> money! <laughs> I'm rich! <laughs> money! <laughs> Money, money, money. Ooh, money. Rich, rich. Oh, is he done? Oh, no, no, he's still going. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> money, money, money. Jammer quarantine. Topical. Yeah, the mountain look is really cool. It looks like... I feel like I'm in, like, Skyrim land or something.
Oh, hold on. Three little connectors and a fan. Looks like a line to me.
Yo, Lucky Jars, what is up? Now he's up there. Now we can do stuff. Supposedly. Um, Must be doing this too soon. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Let's uh, all right. Abort. All right, we're just gonna put. where we need it in the air. Okay. Get up in the air. Okay. So now I'm gonna take you and now I don't know 
have this problem. Um, I guess I'm still too, still too soon for that. I guess I really need like a second block. Um, I was like, no, that's too easy. Oh, it's right there! It's right there! I can just grab it and do things. Okay, obviously it's not going to work. <laughs> I could totally make that. Okay. Gordita. Okay. Okay, well now we've got our extra block. Do, 
Jammer two. <coughs> Pardon me. <sighs> okay. Keep trying, even though I shouldn't. Get up in the air. And the truth will not reveal itself. Perhaps the truth is revealing itself just fine. Thank you. Maybe I jam this one, possibly. I think we jam this one. So I can open one door with this one, but I can open two doors here.
fucking hilarious if I just like fall off right there. <laughs> Beep boop. I'll get to you in a minute, beep boop. Uh, I'm gonna draw Bridge Castle first. Big stairs, little stairs. Seems rather ornate. Can we just no. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's cheating. <laughs> this is fine. It's fine. It's fine. So close. <laughs> I'm so close. Uh -oh. Where was 
the blue one. Blue one's over there. Um, which is a block in there that I need. Okay. Uh, idea though. Come on. Oh, come on. The brilliant. Oh, yeah. You're robbed. <laughs> if I did on that one. I'm really sad that didn't work, too. Uh, probably gotta do it on that one. the next block. Step ladder to get 
up there. Okay, now we've got this one. they thought of it that I would try to build a step thing up and over that wall that don't look like it don't work uh, okay uh, so I think we're just going for the, the highest one we possibly can all right gotta be that one. Okay, would this one work? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think it's gotta be this one. going for the ultimate stack. Woohoo! Well, this is a cool little puzzle. I mean, they're all cool puzzles. Blocks and lenses. Okay. And a jammer. Looks like I gotta get flung into there. The uh Oh, this <laughs> is a gold star too. Oh no wait. Oh there's a path back there to get to it. Okay, okay. Oh, I don't know what I need. Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. 
Um, okay. I guess we fling a box over yonder. That doesn't get, get me anything. Um, I mean, I might as well leave that jammer there. I don't really see any other thing to do with it. Um, See what happens if I just chuck this over. Okay. So this gets me. Oh, oh, I see. Just get the jammer over there and we're good, right? I think. Right? Yeah, it just seems like we just send the jammer over here now and we're good. supposed to use two blocks to try and get out of whatever don't care about the stars okay I think that's yep that's all everything here oh we got beep boop I decided on reflection to ignore the fact that your picture of how the world should work has more holes than Swiss cheese in fact just in case you do buy some outside chance proved to be right, I'd like to sign up for the gang. If you're in charge of the Ark, who will be first aboard when the floods come? What does one have to do but to be valued above all others? Be a contributing person. Be conscious. Be conscious. Be alive. How draconian. Good people get treated good, bad people get smited. Is that it? 
What is it that makes the difference between a good person and a bad one, do you think? Do people act reasonably? Bad people harm others. Bad people have something wrong deep inside. Mr. Don't take Mr. Don't take me with you if you're right now wants to know what you have to do to go with you. <laughs> Bad people harm others. But why? If you're going to reward those lucky few you judge to be good and exclude those you deem to be bad, you're going to have to explain to the unfortunate why they deserve less. Are that way by nature? I, I don't necessarily believe that. People are made by, way by their environment. People ch bad people choose to be bad. I, I do believe that people are often a product of their environment, but I don't think that necessarily governs everything about a person. I mean, I guess... That's a tough one. I don't think people are the way they are by nature. Although, I do, some people do, uh, like, you may have, like, certain genetic traits that maybe make you more quick to anger, or you may be, like, chemically unstable to do, but that doesn't necessarily make you, that's tough. I, I don't think people are the way they are by nature. I do think they're more of a product of their environment. I mean, if anything, training places taught us that. I mean, good old Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd over a dollar bet prove that to be true um bad people choose to be bad saying bad deeds are a choice or simply blaming the product of their environment bad people you choose to be bad but it's a you know at the end it's a choice you may have certain things that influence your choices but at the end of the day it's still a choice do they really? I suppose that's why prisons are chock-a-block with wealthy playboys, because it's a lifestyle choice. You choose to be a good person? Maybe that's, I guess, bad people choosing to be. It makes it sound like, uh, that's not quite what I meant. You know, it's like saying a, a person is consciously saying, I want to be bad, but that's not necessarily it. They make bad choices, but that doesn't necessarily make them bad. Because the opportunities that are provided, should disadvantaged people really be punished for that? Oops, what I click. Okay, actually that's... Yeah. So who... So whose lives are worth the most then? What do I have to do for my ticket aboard the Ark? Be a contributing person. I don't see why I have to explain to be alive. Be. Simply be. I mean, if we're talking about, like, end-of-the-world situation and we're getting aboard the Ark for the sake of survival, I'm like, I think I can get away with being bad in that case. Yeah. Yeah. Bad people choosing to be bad was a... That was a bad choice on my part. Uh, that's not quite... I was... My brain was thinking something else than what was actually being written. Uh, to get on my Ark... You'd be a contributing person... Simply be a person. Be alive. Be conscious? Be conscious. You mean like be awake or be conscionable? No vegetables on my boat. Um, be alive. I don't, yeah, I don't necessarily want dead people on my ship, but be a person. So no animals on my on my arc. Uh, I, want, I want doggies to so be alive. Be alive. So grass has the same rights in your world as a person does. Is that it? How would that even work? Community service for people who step on the lawn. <laughs> I think you must have confused the question. Why don't you try it again? Yeah, okay, fair enough. Are you contributing a person? I mean, if you're going to be on my arc, you're going to have to help out a bit, but... Be a person, sure. Should I be worried that one 
must have some particular or dubious psychological properties in order to qualify, who decides who's a person who isn't? Is a human infant is a human infant a person? Absolutely. I don't really see how that could be true. The distinction we agreed to between persons and animals was that persons are more intelligent and more reasoning, but a human infant is no smarter than your average chihuahua. How do you explain that? Okay, I mean, I'm, being a dad, I can definitely say infants aren't much smarter than a chihuahua, but it's not about necessarily intelligence. If it's had the potential to become persons, ah. Chihuahuas are persons. And it's had the potential to become persons. I suppose they do, yes, but if your proposal is that the simple casual potential to become a person is sufficient to buy entry onto your arc of the moral elite, wouldn't that still include an awful lot of animals? I would. Animals' lives are worth the same as humans. No. Oh, yeah. Depends on the animal, I guess. I suppose the industrial slaughter of animals for meat is on a moral par with genocide, then. Would you really save a chihuahua just as soon as a fellow person? Depends on the person. Is any our conscious beings? I misunderstood. Can we go from the top? I mean, I'm not going to say, like, a slug's life is worth that of, like, an infant child. So, certainly not. But that's kind of where these... These are awfully, like, broad-stroked questions. Well, let's go from the top. Every option, aren't you? But... <clears throat> I think we we're kind of going down the right path. Let's, uh... Simply be. To be. Very different. Administer the right gene therapy to an Alsatian, and it has every potential to become a person. Alsatian? Pre existing genetic potential. Alsatian. The right gene therapy to it. I don't know what an Alsatian is. I assume that's possibly some sort of. Uh, primate or something? No. It's every potential to become a person. Well, now we're talking about, like, gene therapy. Like, I don't... Pretty this genetic potential. I see. In that case, I can only infer the children born with genetic defects, which prevent them from maturing to full persons have some moral status as animals. Does that sound about right to you? Oh, it sounds very wrong. Sort of? I don't know. Sure, why not? How tantalizingly radical. I don't know where this newfound willingness to bite the bullet is coming from, but so long as I'm on the right side of it, when the chips fall, I like it. I said something coming, a revelation. Let us retire and think on these matters. Be seeing you! God, this game just... The, 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 the guy who wrote this dialogue just does not give an inch. <laughs> I think I've got one more room in me for the night. Uh, I've got a long, long fucking day tomorrow. I found some mold in my attic, so I'm going to be spending all day tomorrow bleaching my attic. <laughs> oh, God, that's going to be hell. <laughs> Beep boop.
please remember to release your pets. While it's true that not all pets will be able to adjust to living without you, many will manage, and the least you can do is give them a chance. Just remember, release your pets before you become incapacitated. If you notice any locked in animals in your area, please take the time to free them. Leaving the door and windows of your home open will turn it into a useful shelter. Setting out large quantities of dry food may help your pets through the transition period. Jeez, what the hell happened? I assume some kind of disease. Because if the animals and pets are going to be okay, it's not like an asteroid hit and wiped out humanity. It's some kind of disease or something, I assume. Sorry by gone. Lost day to grieve. Unable to focus. Drennan working as if possessed. Does she sleep? Getting tired. Without contraries is no progress. Without contraries is no progression. Attraction and repulsion, reason and energy, love and hate are necessary to human existence. Error. Okay, so from what I could gather from all these journal entries and things, some horrible apocalyptic event happened, presumably some sort of disease that was killing off humanity. Humanity foresaw that it was inevitable that humanity was going to die, and in an attempt to preserve some sense of humans, they created this giant database computer library to store like as much information about humans as it could, and it created the Elohim as essentially the, the administrator, the AI overseeing it. So either at some point the Elohim's AI decided it was God and started creating the simulations for some unknown reason. Um, in response to COVID-19, they made Wikipedia <laughs> to an AI, yep. Basically, yeah. So that seems to be what's going on, so... I still don't know what role the Eowyn uh, plays in this. If we're just merely an experiment to him, or if we actually serve a purpose, I, that is still kind of unknown. The armory. this always this body this mind this world no way out Really, the air hits that hard? Okay, I see, so... Hmm. Okay, so that's what powers the fan. And then we gotta get some blue over here. That scared me, but it did. <laughs> Alright, got you. Uh, 
think I need to, like, block that source. I think there's a spot. Hmm. Oh wait, this this fence is a little shorter. Can I hop over that fence? I think this will work. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Um, okay. block that beam I definitely need a box some kind um, hold on. we try something I was wondering if like redirecting the blue laser to that would like cancel it out but nope
Oh, haha, -ha. that's right, I can do that. Now, I don't need that to be there. So now, I can redirect the laser here, this way, I think, yeah, maybe. I think that's the plan. you anymore. So I'll do is just that work. I might Don't have sight of it. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Uh, I do have a sweet box though now. Somehow can't get that there. Um, That's not gonna be tall enough. So putting like doing like this and will not work. Um, so can I get a blue laser somehow here?
got a block. Get me up here. this block at Block that fan somehow. there we gotta somehow get that uh, that requires red there oh that's interesting it's already pointed to there so okay Come back to that, but all right, here we go. Okay. Don't need to know. Um, 
have to put this one up on a block. take any more tonight any of them with the recording ones are always doozies okay uh Come back, come back. Unfortunately, I think I need to bring that uh, plate up with me too.
I see. I just need to make two trips of it. Okay, okay. Oops. Wait, did I leave my... Oops. Reset. Reset, reset. Okay, okay. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. One more. Stables. Just lenses. Alright. And jammers. Okay. I assume probably no more jammers of any kind. Maybe it was only super easy because of the mechanics I've learned up to this point. You know, that's one of the main things to learn is like how to uh, use the tools to be able to like take all the stuff with you through doors. That's kind of one of the main things you learn. Once you got that down, that puzzle was super easy. I'm okay ending on an easy one. Any beep boop? All right, we gotta end up, we're gonna end on beep boop. There you are! Kept me waiting. I finally put my finger on what was bothering me. 
It's as if the answers you're providing aren't your ideas at all. It's as if they're latent, prescribed, prescripted. You're just going through the motions. Does that strike a chord at all? No. Of course, you only see a fraction of the data that I've archived over the generations. Still, ask yourself this. Why is it that everyone's so darn sure that 2 plus 2 makes 4, yet they can't agree on what they are, what they're doing, or why? Mathematics has a more objective truth to it. Perhaps mathematics is real, while those problems are imaginary. Those problems are more complex than mathematics. More objective truth to it. What's the difference between having more objective truth and just being more real? Pose questions like, what should I do with myself? And what is the world really like enough? And you start to assume they have answers. But what if that assumption turns out to be false? What if you're just a bunch of information processes? In that case, any attempt to answer the question will be flawed. Garbage in, garbage out. Perhaps the flaw is in your reasoning instead. How presumptuous. Still, I take your point. None of the answers make sense, that much is clear. One explanation could be unreliable data input. Yeah. The other is that there's a flaw in our logic. Perhaps we're just machines endlessly trying to calculate the final digit in pi. Can't use reasoning to conclude that reasoning itself is. It does seem there is much that is beyond our understanding. Everything leads around in impossible circles. You spend half, you've spent half our time reeling off greatest hits of idiot ideas now you're telling me you retract all that and agree with me <laughs> oh, I have to give up on everything how I get through to show me the big questions have no answers part of me wants to never speak with you again and part of me wants to think you're actually been paying attention just to confirm Everything here may be illusionary, but there is no way to live. There is no way to live with purpose, or to discover the truth. That is your position now. There's no way to live with purpose or to discover the truth. Everything, everything here may be illusionary. I don't know if I. I don't know if that is my position or not. No way to live with purpose? I don't, I don't believe that. Certainly is a way to live with purpose. Discover the truth. I just want to see how you react. You've seen how easily your view of the world is manipulated, yet you trust those thoughts that run through your mind. You'll feel differently once you come back from that tower. You must be getting close by now. Terminating support session. Hmm. Why is the door all steamy and foggy? Reminds me of the the uh, gates to paradise and uh, Florence. It's probably what it's meant to represent. Okay, we've gotten through at least half of the, a little more than half of this temple. Just got five, six, seven left. All right. I think that's gonna do it for me for tonight. I got a long day tomorrow. I need to get some sleep, but that was made some good progress. So thank you all so much for hanging out tonight. You all keep being the mightiest barbarians that you can be. And I'll see you all next time, most likely Monday, unless I feel like streaming tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Wish me luck on my attic. Take care, everybody. Have a nice weekend. If I don't see you, that's a deep fucking thinking we're doing tonight with this game. Oof. Uh, once again, good night, everybody.